Hello everybody, welcome, this is, you know, the first show of Baked Goods. Uh, tonight we've got lined up, we've got an interview with Jeff Ching, we've got an interview with Jackson Buck, when we might find out the future for his series of Blast From My Ass. We'll have um, skits, a um, couple of segments, so yeah, enjoy. Okay, to open up the show, we've got Matt Ford and his rant on the current happenings of the 3D MM community. Off you go. First tonight on the agenda, I'm going to talk about Mark Velder Hoosen's camera. He's been taking some rather raunchy shots of his mother, Flo. I just want to say, Flo, if you're watching this... like to give a little mention about Wu-Tang, a good friend of ours who has been receiving racist comments from some members of this community. Well, since we've announced that he is not actually a real person, we will reveal his identity on a future episode of Baked Goods. Who the fuck is Wu-Tang? Who the fuck is Wu-Tang? Who the fuck is Wu-Tang? Aside from that, the community has been pretty shitty lately. No action or nothing at all going on. Hopefully it will get more interesting, so in future rants, I will have more to talk about. So start fighting, you guys. <laughs> I'll be back later to interview Jackson Fuck. <laughs> I mean, Buck. How lame was that, you cunt? <laughs> well, yeah, that was Matt Ford's great rant. He'll be back every show to do one of those, so look forward to more crazy hijinks from that crazy, crazy Latvian man. Okay, it's time now for a little segment that we like to call Storytime with Bryn. Idiot, I said story to him, Bryn, not Brian, jeez. Oh, hello there. Obviously, I am Bryn C. Doherty. And, um, I'm the storyteller in Baked Goods. The story is, um, I'm just making this up off the top of my head, without a pen. And this pen was a, an official Star Wars pen. Had Darth Vader on it. Hmm. 
and um, one day I picked it up and I wrote something with it, and it wrote like a normal pen would. Hmm. That's all I have. Sorry. Oh, Brad's gonna kill me. No, I, I promise I'll have a good one for the next time. The next story. Is my time up? Can it be up? Thank you. Alright, we've got a little something that um, Tuna Hematoma, he's not too proud of, I don't think. Some of you may remember it a while ago. He updated his site with a little song. And I can have that song. We're going to play that song right now. I'm Tuna Hematoma Fishy. I like to poop all day. And when I'm on the toilet, I go, Huh, Now what about the other fishies that don't like to say poop? I bet they're all stupid as a post. They never seem to smile. I'm Tuna Hematoma the Fishy. I'm pooping and pooping and poop. I think everyone should say the word poop. <laughs> now, I think you better enjoy that while you can, because I don't think Tuna's going to be too happy when he... You bastard! <laughs> Eight goods can bite me. Okay, so we'll we'll cut to a commercial break. We got like calling commercial breaks. Uh, they're actually previews for people's movies, which is really clever. See, you download this and you're really downloading previews. Okay, so we'll be right back after this. Hi, my name is Dr. Smith, and I'm a dentist. I'm here to talk to you about my favorite website called cool3dmmshit.com. It's awesome. It truly is the most offensive, controversial site with attitude in the 3dmm community. Mr. Smith, can I please stop? My throat's hurting. Hey, bitch. My name's Dr. Smith. You paid 50 bucks for me to whiten your teeth. Do you want your teeth whitened or not, bitch? Yes, I do. Well then, shut the fuck up and keep sucking until I ejaculate. You got that? Anyways, yeah. Cool30mm shit is an awesome site. By far the most controversial. And being a dentist, that's very stressful. Going to this site is a great stress reliever. Now gargle the cum in your mouth for about 30 seconds and you can spit it out in that toilet over there. got an interview here with Jackson Buck, maker of Saving Granny's Purse, which unfortunately was never finished, but that's beside the point. Alright, um, Matt Ford's here to interview Jackson, so off you go. So Jackson, my good friend, what is your opinion on the status of the community at the moment? Like, do you find the community entertaining as much as you used to? That's a good question, Matt. I usually go on 3D Movie Maker just to muck around. I used to be insanely love with it, but since I can never finish a movie, it's not as appealing as it used to be to me. But overall, I think it's a great program and impossible to beat. That's great. Now, are you actually working on any movies at this moment in time? Well, I'm not sure if you call working on a movie one scene every week a movie, but yes, I am. I'm also in this interview here. That's nice. Recently, you and Mitch made the awesome movie Blast From My Ass. Is there any chance we'll see another one from you two guys in the near future? That's what pisses me off. Stupid Just because shit. two people say they didn't find Blast From My Ass funny, Mitch quit. It pisses me off so much. I try to convince him. I swear there was about 20 people who I have talked to that like Blast From My Ass. It was annoying to see Mitch quit. So sadly, there won't be a Blast From My Ass too. 
Well, maybe, just maybe, call me crazy, we might have to pay Mitch a little visit. Hey there, Matt. I'm live outside Mitch Warren's house right now. It's pretty late, so he could be sleeping. I'm just going to knock on his door. Who are you? Is Mitch Warren there? Yes, he's upstairs. I'll just get him. What? What's this? What, what's the camera for? I'm here on the behalf of the show Baked Goods. We want to ask you about the cancellation of the show Blast From Our Hearts, which was a bit of a hit, you know? Who are you? I'm Dean Francis from the 3D Mem community. Why was it cancelled? Uh, um, I, I don't have the time. That's no excuse. Jackson is more happy to continue. Ah, uh, no comment! Now there you have it. And remember, you heard it first on Baked Goods. Well, that didn't turn out like we expected. <laughs> yeah, I really want to start it up again. It's great work with Mitch on a movie, because he's so good. What other directors these days are your favourites? Mm, that's a hard one, but I have one. Call me an Odie, but my fave director is Mark Graffel, and my favourite movie is Desperado 2. Most people's faves are Jimmy Posen. I don't really like his work that much. Pretty sloppy if you ask me. You're telling me you found Litterbug 1 and 2 sloppy? I found about 18 mistakes in both Litterbugs, but still, some scenes are amazing to watch. I've also seen one movie that Jimmy has made that no one has seen. Oops, <laughs> I've said too much. Let's leave it there on that topic. Can we get your opinions on Will's diabolical delightment? Well, what can I say about DD? It was amazing. I'm so jealous of Will's skills I could just burst. Every time I watch it, it puts me off making my own movie because DD is so much better. That's what most have said. So I hear you're coming to the convention in Sydney with the Fresh From The Oven gang, Mika Z, Mitch and Tony. Yeah, that's going to be great. I hope it will be as good and even better than the last. But I would like to see Cal come up. Steve, that would make it interesting. Oh, God, yes. But since Cal is down there in bummy Melbourne, it won't be possible. So do you know if the wheel has been invented down there yet? Nah, it's not. I heard that they're still trying to make the square. <sighs> Some people. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have for now. Hopefully we can have you back on the show very soon. Yeah, sweet. Thanks for interviewing me. I'd just like to say a big hi to Mitch Warren, and uh, I guess that's all I have to say. Well, see you later. Was it just me, or did it sound like Jax was reading off cue cards? Nobody uses cue cards anymore. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go to a segment called... How to pick up chicks with Terry. Hey, I'm Terry. Welcome to How to Pick Up Chicks with Terry. Oh, and I'm Terry. Today, I'm going to give you some chick picking up tips from the master of love, Terry. Alright, first thing first, you got to have a sexy voice. Listen to mine, baby. Doesn't it just drive you wild? Now that you've got a sexy voice, you've got to have a sexy dance. Just like this. Now you're basically ready. All you need to know are the secret lines. And that's what Terry's going to show you. Yeah, me, Terry. <laughs> hey, baby, you've got real nice eyes. Can I touch your tits? Oh, well, she was a bitch anyway. She was fat. <laughs> Hey, old pants. Um, can I get in your pants? Oh, Jesus Christ almighty! Well, today we're very successful, but I swear to God, next week we'll be picking up chicks left, right and centre. It's been great, guys. I'm Terry. See you later. Oh, and I'm Terry. Terry's got 
too strong Hatch, she stick to Kelly like I'm to Kelly And I'm Kelly It's time to bring out a man now Who is the webmaster of cool 3DMM shit He's the creator of the movie The Horny and the Dead He's one of the most acclaimed movie critics around He tells the truth not only the truth, nothing but the truth. He's the one, the only, Jeffrey Ching. What's the problem with the human race? G'day Jeff, welcome to the show. Oh, I'm glad to be on this show. It's a privilege, but, uh, my asshole is still hurting from yesterday. Didn't I tell you to go gently? Uh, um, <clears throat> yeah, right, uh, moving right along. I think a lot of people are wondering if you have any plans to make any more moves before you leave the community, whatever that may be. Well, honestly, I can't see myself making any more long movies. Like, Horny and the Dead was a lot of work. And yes, it was rewarding because of a lot of good reaction. <laughs> but it, it was no longer fun. It was just like a drag after a while. And I prefer to do more things like beating off the pornos. I still make animated jokes, though. I still, yeah, for my site. It's still okay, but I'm a lazy bastard. And yeah, that's that. Uh, I'm kind of losing a bit of interest on 3D MM, actually. The pornos. Yep, we all love the pornos. Long movies do become a bit of a pain in the ass after a while. I think that's why there's a heap of short movies going around. Speaking of the animated joke, I got your latest one, and although I've heard the joke before, it looked like you put a bit more effort into your animating. You really think so, or are you just kissing my ass? Well, honestly, I think my animations kind of sucked on that one, because I spent like maybe 40 minutes on it. But it was Matt McCowan's voice acting that was really funny in that movie. And yeah, he's a great voice actor. I honestly thought boy, that uh, FBI story was better, but I guess everyone has their own opinion. Kissing your ass? Not on this show. So is there anyone you still hate at the moment? Well, you wouldn't want to kiss my ass anyways, unless you want acne all over your face, transferred from my ass, but <laughs> let's not talk about that. Okay, well, um, enemies not... Well, I've been feuding with John Chapone quite a bit lately, because we have very different views, but... Other than that, I wouldn't say I've made too many enemies. I've kind of gotten out of that. Like, I used to feud with a lot of people before, but I guess that's kind of changed. Fair enough. I guess you haven't been pissing people off much recently. But I bet there's a party man inside you just waiting to burst out, isn't there, Jeff? Okay, last question. What is your future? I mean, how much longer are you staying in the community and doing your website? I personally can't see myself leaving anytime soon, as it occupies most of my net time. Well, quite honestly, I'm getting a little bored of updating cool 3D MM shit. Like, I'm glad that it's quite successful. But, yeah, updating it feels like more of a drag now. That's why it's good to see people like Tony Tulin, who have so much enthusiasm when they update. It's like, he can update with 20 movies, and I'm like, how the fuck did you do something like that? Though, I will be, even when I'm like 20 or something, I'm sure I'll still be checking the 3D MM bulletin board and making a lot of smart-ass comments like I do now, because I, I can't find myself ever getting bored of that shit. So yeah, you won't see any, oh, you 3DMMers have no life kind of comments from me, because those are just fucking immature. And yeah. 3DMM does occupy quite a bit of time, especially during homework. But yeah, like, the, I guess I do have more important priorities, such as getting a girl, getting my balls sucked, my dick sucked, my dick going up her ass, stuff like that. Anyways, Brad, I keep telling you to go gentle on me, and you never do. What the fuck? Sorry about that, I tend to get a bit excited sometimes. I think it's that chocolate body paint we use. Maybe skip it next time? Yeah, well anyways, if you stop doing cool 3 mm shit, you can always join Fresh From The Oven Studios as a reviewer. There's no doubt about it, you write the best reviews. Oops, now I think I'm ass kissing. Nope, I'll cover it myself by calling it truth telling. Jeff Ching, thanks for the interview. Yep, truth telling indeed. Anyways, yeah, it was a pleasure being on this show. I had a good time with you here and with you yesterday, but we can talk about that another time. And yeah, I, I guess I could continue reviews. I've always been a huge fan of Isaac MD's reviews because like, he seems really knowledgeable and all. So yeah, it was a pleasure being on your show.
And maybe another time I can give a weekly opinion on baked goods or something. So, yeah. Anyways, I guess I'm going to go home now. Better get a ride. Uh, there are quite a few niggers at the show. And quite honestly, I don't want my wallet stolen from me. And I don't want people to pull guns at me and force me to buy crack off them. Like, I see Dan user sitting over there. And, yeah, that guy kind of freaks me out. I saw him trying to steal my bike earlier, which was quite traumatizing, yeah, actually. So, Dan, stay the fuck away from my bike. I'm going to go now. So, yeah, I'm very chill. Jeff Ching, eh? What a guy. Wasn't that incredible? Anyways, that just about wraps up the first show of Baked Goods. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you thought it was worth downloading. Hope you'll be downloading future episodes. Uh, any feedback can be sent to me at my email address, which is fftos at 3dmm.com. Okay. Uh, to finish off the show, and uh, it takes in the credits and that, we've got a song by the one, the only, Matt McGowan. See you next time. I don't like how you poop and pee. You always have to bother me with your silly, silly, silly poop story. It's really disgusting, almost even gory. No, I don't like your poop tail. No, I don't want to tell you mine. And no, if I hear it again and again, I'll hit you with the big street sign. No, I don't want no poop. A poop is a piece of that makes me gag myself. If I smell, I puke all over the floor and more. No, I don't want no poop. A poop is a piece that makes me gag myself. If I smell, I puke all over the floor and more. You think I like to hear it over and over and over again. It sickens me to hear the nasty details. It could make me burst out and wail. Hey, shut up. That was gross. What? Corn that's disgusting the most. You don't seem to understand. You're a woman, and I'm a man. No, I don't want no poop. A poop is a piece that makes me gag myself. If I smell it, I puke all over the floor and more. No, I don't want no poop. A poop is a piece that makes me gag myself. If I smell it, I puke all over the floor and more. I think you're pretty and all. But you gotta stop. It hurts like a hard fall. You better. Or I think I'll smack ya. I'm just kidding. How about that one at ya? Poop. What does it mean? What a human excretes with added extra cream. Warm. When leaving the butt, this is stick. I think we should stop. Oh look. Now you got me hooked. Poop. Poop. Poop y'all. Likes. This isn't. No, no. Not good at all. No. I don't like your poop tail. No. I don't want to tell you mine. And no. If I hear it again and again, I'll hit you with a big